Hi Bruce from Safari, we're going to look at our built-in double hob here today. So this unit's 520 long, 290 wide, it's designed to be built in, and it's matched exactly with that 3000 watt inverter that you can see over there. We're showing their Victron unit, we're showing also this colour display, uh, purely for the purpose of the demonstration. Next door to it is one of our smart switches, which is able to switch the input current, which I'll demonstrate later on. And down here we've got 600 amp hours of uh, battery, and we're going to be operating this uh, cooktop. So the cooktop's got 1800 watts at the back and uh, 1500 watts at the front. So all together it's got 3300 watts and that's a 3000 watt inverter. So you might ask, how does this actually work? Well, let's have a look. So turning it on is pretty simple. Turning it on high, um, you can actually go backwards. So if I start to go backwards, it starts off at uh, 5, now we're on 9, and let's have a look at the inverter over here. The watts are picking up, we're at 1,000, 1,800 watts, uh, 1,994 watts, so we've now got uh, 1,900, 1,996, just under 2,000 watts, and as I put my hand on this I can feel it. You can see the bubbles are nearly already starting over there on that back uh, pot. Now the pot I've got in the front here, classic camp oven, uh, one that I've had for years, and in this one here, it's cast iron, ceramic lined, perfect for induction, absolutely perfect. And this one here is 1500 watts. So let me select it, and I start to put it up. Now, as I start to increase this, watch the number 9 here behind if you can see it. But as I start to push this up now, and select it, and increase it, uh, then the back is now down to 7, and we're now at 7 on the front. So now I've got setting a 7 here, 7 on the back. The inverter now is winding up, it will go up close to 3000 watts. Uh, it's sitting at 2700 at the moment. And so what this cooktop does is they're ganging together to, to, for the maximum to protect the user from tripping out the inverter. So we do have an overload light flashing on the inverter at the moment. It's flashed on very briefly. That slow flash means that um, it's nothing to be concerned about. It's like a pre-alarm. Uh, that inverter will do 30% over its rated capacity for 20 minutes. Uh, just a superb inverter. So down here now, I'm going to wind this front one up a little bit higher. So I select it, I put it up to nine, the back drops to six. Um, uh, just have a look at our load over there. We're now at 2009. So we're just on 3000 watts. And you can see that we've got that inverter a little bit pushed. It's in that pre-alarm mode, but it's fine. And here now, this uh, back one here is nearly boiling. The front one's getting incredibly hot in there. The bubbles are starting to form in there as well. So on this double hob here, you can operate in a caravan with our, uh, this is our 48 volt uh, power setup we've got here with this inverter. The inverter can be running off 12 volts as well. It can actually be a 3000 watt off 12 in the Victron. Uh, and uh, running here today off these 600 amp hours of lithium, just superb. Now with the 600 amp hours of lithium, typical dinner time cooking on both of these for 20 minutes pretty well as we're doing here now with a setting of uh, six seven we're up to we've got nine and six here at the moment uh, will take about eight to nine percent out of these batteries for a dinner meal so it's really not that bad and it'll take you about an hour of solar if you've got a thousand watt solar to totally replenish this energy if you've got 500 watts of solar that'll take you two hours in the middle of the day to uh, fully replenish it in a typical day so uh, this truly is running on free energy. I mean, it's just a dramatic change from um, LPG. So uh, um, that's about it. Have a look at our website. Thank you.